G'day. This is probably going to be a quick video. I'm going to tear down a hard disk drive. This used to be my ISO IDE drive. See on the back there, it's got the pins, the 40 pins. I used to use this back in the day when, when everything was Windows 2000, 98, XP. Uh, we had different versions of Office. And when we connected to the internet, it always started with So first up, I'm going to use the screwdriver I use everywhere. So this is my Phillips long, long blade screwdriver. I use that for 90% of my work. In this case, it's a no-go. We need something else. I'm just going to go out to the car and grab my tool bag. So this is the tool bag out of the car. Cheap $15 screwdriver set. It's probably all I need. Bit of a change of plan. This drive has security screws on it. I can't open it up. I was going to have a little chat about the uh, old ID interface we used to use back in the day. Had to set a jumper to set the drive to either cable select, master or slave. Right at the beginning of these, we used to have used the IDE controller boards and set up the, the IRQ settings. So, let's go to another drive. This one's a little bit more recent. So as you see, it's a SATA drive. I also had to pull out another screwdriver kit. So let's start. I think there might be another screw in this. I'll plug the drive into a computer and I'm now running a butterfly test using HDD scan. So we need to spice things up. When it comes to spice, nothing like nutmeg. Whoops. Oh, it stopped. No, it's going again. Nope. It's having problems. As you can see, 
nutmeg and hard disk drives don't really go together too well. I'm also having problems with the data on the drive. Oh, look at that. Well, what do you know? That took a while. And I think it's still trying, still struggling. One of the side effects of using nutmeg is that there's nutmeg everywhere. Okay, that's it. So what it does is that there's three pads which connect to the three pads for this. And this here connects to these pads here. I guess so that's it the Seagate 500 gig oops main part uh, SATA hard disk drive okay I'll put it back together again it should work fine Yep, I might have to uh, send this back under warranty. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.